What's up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Julianis and in today's video it's very very exciting because today is the day where I decided to start my real estate career. I'm about to register for my online classes to get my real estate license. And I just want to document the whole process from beginning to end. So let's do it. First things first. I just wanted to share with you guys some insight first. So I'm going to be doing online class. I decided to do it online just because it's faster for me. I can do it as much, you know, content as possible. I haven't done an online class since college, so it's been a while, but I'm feeling pretty good about it. It feels good to be back, honestly. I, I'm, I am not in school, actually, so if you guys were wondering, not in college. Um, I do have a part-time job and then I have my business. I wanted to show you guys what I'm doing to prepare for the exam because I did I haven't even registered for the class. I'm gonna do that today. I'm gonna show you guys what I bought to kind of and what I've been doing to prepare for that. And also I did register for the classroom class, but I decided to change last minute. Shout out to the team at Tampa School of Real Estate. That's where I'm gonna be getting my license from or my course licensing program from. How I'm prepping. I bought a couple of school supplies because I love school supplies. So this is um, the folder that they gave me with a bunch of helpful information that I'll be using. I got a notebook. I don't know how I'm going to be taking notes, if I'm going to be taking notes on the computer or however, but this is the notebook that I got. I got a calendar it's because I'm going to be writing down, I guess, like, well, actually, I just bought it because it was cute. I'm going to be writing down dates and important dates and deadlines. So, I'll be making good use of that. And this is what I wanted to show you guys. I signed up for Prep Agent, which is a uh, study guide platform for after you pass the license, licensing course. But I signed up for it anyways, which by the way, if you want 20% off, be sure to use my link in the description box below. But this is the binder for Prep Agent. And I went ahead and printed out all of the handouts and put them into sheet protectors. So first couple pages are just keywords. And then after that, it goes into the ebook. So the key concepts for the real estate exam, which is gonna be great to kind of just flip through it as a study guide before the test. But this is that. I am actually having a training later today for cold, for a cold calling position for a real estate investor. I have been doing a lot of research on cold calling. This is my cold calling scripts binder. I have all of my prospecting scripts, seller, buyer, all of that stuff in here, which will be great for after I pass. We're being positive here, but if we don't, it's okay. There's always a retake. And then I got a bunch of sheet protectors for the binders and another binder this one i'm probably going to be using it to fit all of the documents that i and printouts from the online course for schedule i will be studying i do have i do work part-time nine to five pretty much so i'm going to study um do classes in between those times so um for my business i kind of did a lot of work ahead of time so that i could focus at least like straight seven days straight on all of my extra hours lunch before work after work um i'm doing the course because i so I, so that i can finish it as soon as possible so my goal for this is obviously to pass the, the course and the state exam and everything i guess goals would be to finish it within i guess two three weeks i want to finish it within a month that's like i don't want to pass over a month doing this course well i do want to document this whole experience for youtube and uh so that i can look back and see you know and hopefully share tips and my experience by the way my background in real estate it's not too much i do work with a real estate broker at the moment i am her office coordinator receptionist everything so that i do have some like i guess i know a couple terms and how the business works a little bit but not too much in depth also my dad is a real estate investor i do have some experience from that standpoint but nothing in depth like i said just from a very outside standpoint the reason why I am actually getting into real estate is because I love learning and I want to learn more about the industry and start as a real estate agent but I do have some more ambitious goals at the end of the day or in the future it really calls my attention the whole industry and how it's doing right now and especially with real estate agents and my other passion is marketing so I think 
combining those two passions for uh, marketing and real estate, I want to see what happens. Yeah. Without further ado, I'm going to get into the actual video. So I'm going to make a phone call and register for the online class. And then after that, I'm going to take a look at the course and we're going to create, uh, I guess, a study plan and kind of get together, get everything together, organized, and then start the program or the course. And then I'll check back with you guys in a little bit. Okay, wonderful. Let's go ahead and send your email and your login information. Okay, I'm in the course, just about to explore a little bit on it. So I'm just gonna take a little by little, keep you guys updated. It is 1.01 p.m. I'm feeling good. Just taking a break right now because I was taking a lunch break. It's always good to take breaks. Yeah, I was able to get through three sections since I started at like 10, probably which is good, I think. My goal is to at least finish, where's my paper? So online, I'm at least I am able to print this out, which is like a study schedule. They give you two options. In my case, they give you a five week plan and a seven week study schedule, but I'm just not gonna follow it because I do wanna finish it as soon as possible. But it does like list all of the sections here. So, like I said, I was able to get through three sections. Um, I'm about to go into my fourth one. <clears throat> and for today, I at least want to finish until section six. So hopefully I'm able to do that and finish until section six. And then um, tomorrow, hopefully get through section seven through 11 and then We'll see what happens, but I'm going to try and get as much of this done this weekend because, like I said, I work Monday through Thursday, 9 to 5, so, and I know, like, after work, it's going to be crazy, but we'll see. We'll see what happens, but it's going pretty good. I'm going to keep going in here in a little bit, just going to take a break and kind of get myself back together and then uh, keep going. Also, here's kind of my setup. So I have my computer here, <clears throat> I, ha I got this thing from Amazon, I got my AirPods because I like to listen to music while I study. This is um, just a review of all of the levels. This is all of the um, schedule like I said and then I just marked the section numbers here. These are, this is my notebook with the notes that I've been taking. Um, my pens here. And then I also just have, like I said, my computer here. And I have this other computer, but I'm not using it right now. So, yeah, it's going pretty good. I have 5% of the course completed. Great. <laughs> but, no, I do love it so far. And then I also have my calendar up there, which I haven't done anything to it. But, <sighs> yep. And then... Whoop, that's upside down. It is 104 right now. So, let's go. What's going on, guys? It is later in the day. It is 5.30 right now. I have just um, been here. I took another break. And um, now I am here. So, I've been able to get through, I think, five units already. <sighs> And the more I go through them, the more tired I'm getting. Like the more, I guess, exhausted because I've been standing, just sitting here staring at the screen all day. As you can see here, these are the notes that I've been taking. Um, I've been taking a lot of different notes, different colors, because I get bored easily. But yeah, I've been getting. And now that I'm like starting to actually dive into the topics it's where i'm taking like more detailed notes and i'm also printing out all of the handouts that comes with the classes so this is where i'm at right now so yeah so hopefully i'm gonna i want to be able to finish um this whole first six chap six uh blah, 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 six levels six units i guess would you, you call it and then we'll see how i feel probably take another break and maybe come back later but i just want to finish these next couple of ones and actually focus on 
going back and studying them so that I can master them because I've been getting I haven't been able to get a hundred on my quizzes yet I've been getting like four uh, not 400 but um like 90 and 80 90s and 80s and uh i've been passing the quizzes but i haven't been like getting 100 and i do want to get 100 so okay I'll talk to you when i have another update oh my god i look crazy <clears throat> it is 10 30 right now it's 10 30 right now i'm about to actually i've just come home from eating dinner because it was um, yeah, I was hungry, so I took uh, a dinner break pretty long, and uh, now I'm going to get back on it. So like I said, I'm almost done with this section here, and I'm about to jump onto this one. But I'm about to hop on again on the system, and then try to finish week one. That's the goal. So I'm going to finish that tonight, probably go to sleep, and then get back on it tomorrow okay guys I cannot do this anymore it is 11 51 p.m. and I have officially reached 12 hours in the course and I have made 15% progress so very proud of myself for that but I'm very tired so I'm gonna sleep and pick it up tomorrow Pretty successful day, I would say. So I'm feeling pretty good about it. Just gonna rest and then get back at it tomorrow. So I'll talk to you guys then. 8.06 guys. I'm so tired. Good morning guys, it is day two of studying for the real estate exam for Florida. Ooh, feeling tired, but feeling good. It is eight something in the morning. Um, I'm just about to get started on my study. I have my setup here, which I will show you guys, I guess. So I have this computer here, my laptop. This is where I do my my stuff. Um, I have my notebook. I take my notes, my handouts, uh, supplies, water, my phone, which I put under not disturb because I can't. I get easily distracted and my airpods and then i keep my handouts here and my glasses of course for today the goal is to finish um week one which i just have level six left or section six and i think i have two more lessons in there and then i'm good to go for that and then after that i'm just going to review all of those exams and quizzes for that week so sections one through six and make sure that I master that before I move on onto the next bunch, into the next week. So that's the plan for today. I'm kind of hungry. I should probably go eat, and eat breakfast, but um, I think I'm gonna wait. I don't know. But let's get started. It's a couple hours later, actually not too later, but I'm about to leave for the stores because my back is killing me. I've been literally sitting on my desk for like tw over 12 hours and it hurts so i'm gonna go to the stores and see if i can find some some things a solution for it even i don't know if it's like a stand-up desk or a new chair but i need something guys i don't have my camera with me but i decided to get this little stand-up thingy and from bras it was like 10 bucks because my back was hurting too much and now i'm just continuing to taking notes and then i'm um, doing the program but yeah changing the scenery What's up guys? It is Sunday, February 23rd. I'm about to get started with the study and I'm also going to multitask and edit this video. Um, but ever since Friday, um, so I did study for like 12 hours straight that day and that really had a bad effect on my back. Especially because of the chair that I'm sitting in, which is plastic pretty much. It's from Ikea. It's like 20 bucks and uh, It's not the best for sitting for too long So I'm gonna have to get a new chair because my back is really bothering me and ever since then like I haven't been as productive Just because I can't stay I can't sit for too long and it's hard to sit for too long so um, But I was able to finish whole week one 
of the study schedule like I was telling you guys and right now I'm just gonna fo I've been focusing and haven't been vlogging too much about this but I've been focusing on going back on the units and um, taking all of the unit exams until I get a hundred and but before doing that I um, I actually purchased the audio review of the course so basically the audio version of the course and what is that uh, what well, basically it's just like lessons but in audio form and it's, I feel like the information there it's more information than what's in the actual online course so I'm really glad that I bought that and it's been really helping me and ever since I've been doing the lessons and the units there I have been able to get a hundred without looking at the paper pretty much because it's been I guess I learn via audio I guess I don't know um, but so for today, I'm going to finish taking all of the unit exams for um, week one, so sections one through six, and then after that, I'm gonna do flashcards. I'm gonna do a bunch of flashcards for all of the terms from sections one through six. Make sure I master everything to the T <laughs> from sections one through six so that I can move on to the next week. And I'm probably gonna do that this week, not today, because today I just wanna focus on mastering everything that i learned and making sure that i did i do know what i'm talking about and stuff so that's the plan for today um hopefully and i do work tomorrow so I don't, i'm not sure how much i'll be able to actually get done during the week until i'm off on friday but we'll see um so i'll check back with you guys in a little bit so let me show you guys kind of my setup here. So I do have these pens. These are my, whoops, my um, flare. Yeah, my flare pens. And uh, this is what I'm going to be using for doing flashcards. And I am going to be doing um, paper flashcards as well as online flashcards. Because I feel like both of them really help me. Um, so I'm going to do both. And then this is all of the handouts from sections 1 through 6 just sections one through six and um, these are the pens that I've been using which I've been really liking for my notebook and then I have more pens over there my laptop and then I'm gonna start editing here shortly um, or start importing these I should say. so talk to you guys soon <laughs> 